If there are people in the office that are standing in your way and they want to make life miserable for you, I have shown you the answer. This wind, you can get a wind answer faster than the other one. This one is available. It comes quickly. In two days, you can muster the east wind. Yes, in two days, you can muster the east wind. And before this week is over, how many of you have people in the office that are just oppressing your life? We will test it. We will test this wind on, on your situation. <laughs> Can you see that when that wind came, what did it do? Oh my, you are not following me. He broke the rocks. It removed the obstacles. So there are times, but obviously, in this particular scripture, the response that Elijah needed was not an opposition-breaking response. Even though the opposition-breaking response came from God, God can answer like that. Are you there? But that was not what he needed. So, but in this presentation, we will see the way the feedback system of a spirit being, he can answer by wind. Come with me to the book of Acts of the Apostles, chapter 2. I will read from verse number 1. And when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all with one accord in one place, and suddenly there came a sound from heaven as what? Can you still remember in the book of Ezekiel, chapter 37, where the wind of God was released on the valley of dry bones and bone came together, bone to his bone. It was an answer. It was a spirit response, but it was like wind. This wild wind of the spirit is something I've experienced many times over. God showed me a dream that I've, I've forgotten. The, the dream he showed me is for the practical aspect of this lecture. But I'm beginning to forget that my dream. He gave me a dream yesterday night to, to do a, a five minutes practical. <laughs> okay. So there, there is a wind answer. The wind answer is the answer that removes obstacles. It can break rocks. So what are you praying about? Does it require that obstacles be moved? Then the spirit response in that regard is going to be a wind answer. In fact, for people that are intelligent spiritually, some of the prophets you find in the Bible, they will even in their request, they will recommend the kind of answer that they are they require to discomfit the attempts of the enemy in that peculiar situation for so god can answer by wind and that answer is to take away what the obstacles once upon a time when we were still in secular service we were, this strange man was imposed upon us as, as our manager. Terrible creature. Hallelujah. The once peaceful place became a den of suspicion. Everybody was suspecting the other person because the, the turbulence had been brought into the ecosystem. The moment you see him, he will threaten you that when it's time to assess you, I, I, will, I will do. <laughs> Everyone was on edge. It was a safe haven previously. But it was, it was turned into chaos because a strange creature came and missed us. Hallelujah. So I went to pray about this man. The first question is, is this man 
is in your agenda. Because if the man has a stake in the agenda of God, my prayers may not, I may not find sufficient favor to displace him. Because it's the will of God that has put him there. And when I found out that he is not a, a, a player in God's agenda, ah, I press further. I say, is there, we plead that he be displaced. I did that prayer for seven days. Then I saw the east wind in, in the spirit. I saw it. He came and moved him out of that seat. Hallelujah. So I went to work. And some of my colleagues that are cousins, you, the sons of the bond woman, they are our cousins. So they came to explain to me the ordeal they suffered the previous day, how that the man put them on the spot and they left the office by 1 a.m. I announced it, does hear the law. You know, those days when I was still in public service, I was so proud of my God. <laughs> so proud, so proud of my God. So I said, does hear the law. I beheld in the spirit a wind, an east wind from heaven. And he took this man you are complaining about from his seat. And these words came to pass in seven days. Now, you know, I said I'm excited about my God. I was so excited about my God, especially when I have his word. I don't hide it. I come into the community of people and say, don't say the law. In so much that one of our cousins wanted to get married. He brought the lady for scanning to see if there were demons in her. <laughs> the Lord can answer by wind. If there's an obstacle, and this is not the only time the wind came to displace people in, in the line of duty. In order to pave way for the purposes of God. I've seen displacements of all sorts. Oh my God. May the Lord will open your eyes. Amen. All kinds of displacements. If there are people in the office that are standing in your way. And they want to make life miserable for you. I have shown you the answer. This wind. You can get a wind answer faster than the other one. This one is available. It comes quickly. In two days, you can muster the east wind. Yes, in two days, you can muster the east wind. And before this week is over, how many of you have people in the office that are just oppressing your life? We will test it. We will test this wind on, on your situation. <laughs> the people I'm talking about, the people that were displaced are very powerful Nigerian men. Very powerful. From all standards, they are the exceptionally powerful and this wind, when he took them off those seats of glory, where he dumped them, they, even their memory was forgotten in that place. The prophet was asked to come out of the cave and to stand upon the mountain. And the first move that took place was a wind dancer. Are you there? And after the wind, an earthquake. So the Lord, a spirit being can answer by earthquake. The earthquake is what we call the sound of intervention. The sound of intervention. Who has it there? The book of Acts of the Apostles, chapter 16. Acts 16, verse 25. After the wind answer, there was an earthquake answer. Sometimes the foundation of many things need to be shaken. Just like the foundation of many families need to be shaken before this week comes to an end. Yeah. So there are custom made answers that are foundation, foundation specific. We can secure wind answers if there are obstacles standing in the way the wind can break the rocks. Sometimes the issues we are dealing with are fastening into foundations. 
And the Bible says that if the righteous, if the foundation be destroyed, what can the righteous do? Oh, if it's an intelligent righteous man, he can invoke such responses, such answers from God that can rattle foundations. Acts chapter 16. Okay, let us let us start. Can we start from a place where it will be easy to flow with um, the progression of revelation? Well, can we start from? Okay, I think verse 16 is going to be the best place to start so that we can capture the entire story. And it came to pass, as we went to prayer, a certain damsel possessed with a spirit of divination met us, which brought her masters much gain by soothsaying. The same followed Paul and us and cried, saying, These are the servants of the Most High God, which show unto us the way of salvation. And this did she many days, but Paul, being grieved, turned and said unto the Spirit, I command thee in the name of Jesus Christ, come out of her. And he came out of her the same hour. And when her master saw that the hope of their gains was gone, they caught Paul and Silas and drew them into the marketplace unto the rulers and brought them to the magistrates saying these men being Jews do exceedingly trouble our city and teach customs which are not lawful for us to receive neither to observe being Romans and the multitude rose up together against them and the magistrate rent off their clothes and commanded to beat them and when they had laid many stripes upon them, they cast them into prison, ch charging the jailer to keep them safely, who, having received such charge, thrust them into the inner prison and made their feet fast in the stocks. And at midnight, Paul and Silas prayed and sang praises unto God, and the prisoners had them, and suddenly there was a great earthquake. What is the specialty of the earthquake? Oh, you are okay. You are fasting. I I will I will forgive because you are in a fasting mode. And what happened? There was a great earthquake, so that the foundations of the prison were shaken. And immediately all the doors were shake foundations. The earthquake answer can open doors. The earthquake answer can release chains. Iga boko. Iga kora kakola. It seems somebody needs an earthquake answer. <laughs> <laughs> so an answer can come in form of an earthquake are you there okay number three an answer can come in form of fire you still remember after the wind then there was what earthquake then there was now fire have you heard Elijah say before that the Lord, the God that answered by fire, let him be God. And answer can come in form of fire. Sometimes what you need is fire. Especially if they are consumables. Because fire is dispatched to consume. If they are consumables, fire, 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 fire is dispatched, is dispatched. If there are things that need to be consumed, things that need to be burnt off. Sometimes when we are doing deliverance and it's becoming difficult, hi, fire. You just release it. When you release it, the demons will be tormented 
And then when you say, should we leave you? They will now recommend that. Cast us out. <laughs> but they will recommend themselves. We need to leave of this environment. <laughs> because a spirit can answer. How? By fire. Well, let's do the common one. Acts of the Apostles chapter 2 from verse 1 to 3. Acts of the Apostles chapter 2 from verse 1 to 3. And when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all with one accord in one place. And suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind. And it filled all the house where they were sitting. And they appeared unto them cloven tongues like as of fire. And he sat on each and every one of them. The 10 day prayer investment that they brought into the heavenlies was responded to by cloven tongues of fire. So God can answer by fire. If you do a proper examination of the circumstance of the situation that bedevils you, you will have an idea of the kind of answer you need. Your prayers are more effective when you are demanding that kind of answer. Because Elijah was very specific in his request. Elijah did not open up possibilities of answers. There was a type of answer he requested for the circumstance on ground. It was the fire answer. So a spirit being can respond by fire. But don't forget the golden rule. God answers the spirit. God answers by what? God's answer is God's spirit. And God's spirit is God's answer. But the manifestation of God's spirit in answers can take on different shades and different colors. Don't say, I like the fire answer more. No, that may not be what you need for your circumstance. If the issue has to do with foundational issues, things fastened into genealogies, fastened into generations, you might need an earthquake so that the things that are hid can be brought forth to light. And as you do spiritual exercises like the one we are doing now, you need to take note of the feedback processes. There are feedback processes that we have. And I think that's the lecture for tomorrow, the feedback processes. All right? That's when you, it will come to your understanding, are you there, that when the spirit realm is provoked, God wants to speak. And that's the last item here in my note. God wants to speak, all right? So because he, he came first like um, wind, then he came again like what? Earthquake, then he came again like what? Fire, then there's the aspect of the voice. Now, the aspect of the voice, even though I'm going to introduce it tonight, but the real lecture on the voice aspect is going to be tomorrow. Because that's how you receive wisdom. Sometimes, sometimes um, in spiritual processes, what you need is guidance and wisdom. And that cannot come as an earthquake. That will be captured in a voice. So we'll talk about that briefly, but tomorrow I'm going to show us th those channels. The channels that become open up when the Holy Ghost is trying to give you wisdom. All right? You still remember that song we normally sing, Channels of My Spirit. Open up. Second Chronicles chapter 7 from verse number 1. Second Chronicles chapter 7, from verse number 1. And now when Solomon had made an end of praying, what did he do? 
he prayed. All right? And the fire came down from heaven. So it means that the Spirit of God responded to Solomon in what way? By fire. And the fire came down from heaven and consumed the burnt offering and the sacrifice. And the glory of the Lord filled the house. And the priest could not enter into the house of the Lord because the glory of the Lord had filled the Lord's house. And when all the children of Israel saw how the fire came down and the glory of the Lord was upon the house, they bowed themselves with their faces to the ground upon the pavement and worshipped and praised the Lord, saying, For he is good and his mercies endure it forever. It was a national prayer day, the day of the inauguration of the temple of God that was built in all majesty. And Solomon was moved in the spirit and he began to make supplication and the scope of his prayer was national. And the proof that God had heard and that God had responded was a sign of fire. So when the Spirit of God decides to move in some instances, he answers by fire. Is that clear? Okay, so, I, uh, so no need to go into other scriptures, especially the Elijah challenge. And how, oh my God, that's a very powerful scripture. If I read it, it energizes me so much. That's the, the God that answers my father. All right, so finally, because I want us to practice it. Ah, I think we're going to leave this voice for tomorrow. The voice is a big matter. Sometimes God doesn't want to destroy. What he wants to do is to give you direction. That in the warfare that you are fighting, you will need to do some specific things that will legitimize him, legitimize his intervention. So he gives you guidance so that when you operate according to that guidance, he will have legitimacy to move into the matter. So he needs to smuggle an intelligence to you. So part of the way in which answers are shaped in some cases is in form of intelligence, is in form of wisdom, is in form of guidance. In fact, the proof that God really wants to advance your case is that he gives you wisdom, he gives you guidance. And if you don't have guidance yet, don't assume, don't take off like a tornado because you will come back weeping. If God is involved, the Lord gives you guidance. Are you there? Once upon a time, so many opportunities opened to me in ministry. So many, so many opportunities. This place had opened, that place had opened. Um, and I don't want to go into details. So many opportunities. Sometimes the thing that will derail you is not a bad thing. It's a, it's a good thing. It's a good thing. So many opportunities. The kind of opportunities I'm talking about are opportunity, big ones. But I, be, I discovered that an open door is not necessarily a sign from God. When I went into the inner chamber, saw the spirit to investigate God told me that he was not responsible for those doors that opened. How will massive, I think they, what, <laughs> what we preach these days about breakthrough. So the, the, the name of our God is breakthrough. That's the name of our God. When you see an open door, it, this is God. I found out that it's not, that's not the case every time. As much as we trust God for open doors, eh? we are not bound up in reproach. So we trust God for open doors. We trust God for opportunities to open to us. I can tell you 
that even though a door opens, it is wise for you to check if it's God is behind it. So we, that was the first time I got on cable, cable television. We were still in the other place that time. We got a slot on uh, a very thriving cable television, and the coverage was quite, quite, the spread was good. So we, we could pay for that slot, and we paid for it, smuggled our materials there. And after one month of viewership, we started getting phone calls, opportunities to preach the gospel on big platforms across Africa. I think the first year we started airing, I got 12 invitations, 12 major invitations, 12 major invitations. And this was, this was about 2012. I got 12 major invitations in 2011, 2012. So I went to God and said, I can see that you're opening doors for me. God said, I'm not aware of doors. When you enter a door that God has not opened, you have heard the story of people that entered into inter uh, international ministry and then got glued to adultery. Let me tell you how it starts. You enter a door that God did not open. The outcome of that adventure will be a mark from the kingdom of darkness because there's no grace to cover you on that tree. If you know the power of grace, the energy, of grace that's the only antidote that god has made available for us to live above sin so if grace doesn't cover you on a mission so many things you may not even come back and if you do you are likely to come back fractured there's a great minister of the gospel that influenced my life a great minister of the gospel. It was when we started visiting a certain nation and the name of the nation is withheld. Because some of you will now say, you calculate like this. I know how you think. We started visiting some nations. A certain nation, we now saw that he has children there. It was not the Lord that opened the door for him. Satan too opens doors. Those doors will eventually become prison houses for people that cannot discern. And that is the reason why God answers also in still small voices to administer wisdom and guidance. So that when you are asked who sent you, you can provide a quick answer. Who sent you? We started to tour some nations. And then I now realized, okay, this man used to come here. Hey, 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 hey. He had children. Those were people that felt that promotion in ministry was the, the, the opportunity to preach in other nations. When I saw those signs, I remained in Makodi. I remained in Makodi until Jehovah Sabaoth now said it is time for you to go to the nations and my spirit will go with you. Don't think preaching in other nations is, is, is promotion. You can come back broke. You can even be arrested. It's when we started traveling uh, that I now saw, I saw some of our brothers that were arrested at the airport. <laughs> I saw people that were desperate to say on my spiritual CV, I was in Angola. I came to Congo. Those, some of those trips are not good trips. They arrested some of them. They were jailed. It's bribed. They bribed their way out of jail. And that's why the Lord will need to come to you as a still small voice. For some of you, you will not sense the thunder. For some of you, he will not come as earthquake. 
And for some others also, he will not manifest as fire. He will manifest to you as a still small voice. In the privacy of my room, in the privacy of my room, the great one. He, you know, he sings songs to me. Ask my wife sometimes, you see me dancing. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Hi! The life in the spirit. Oh, my God. The people that built our house, they put a television in our bedroom, which we have not used. It's a waste of resources. Because I have my own custom made entertainment. <laughs> oh! The Holy Spirit is the first minstrel, the first musician. Because in my heart, he plays instruments and sings at the same time. The still small voice will admonish you. Are you there? He will whisper. And in that whisper, is captured 10 years in the future to come. Aye. Hallelujah. There's a scripture that is coming to my spirit now. It's not on my script. That scripture that says, you will hear a voice behind you say. What, what, what scripture is that? See, now you are not talking. Isaiah chapter, chapter 30, verse 21. Okay, let's begin from verse 20. 20, 20. Ah, are you sure this is the scripture? Okay, go to 21, let's see. And thy ears shall hear a word behind thee saying, this is the way. Walk ye in it. That's the voice of guidance. The voice of wisdom. Among so many assortment of possibilities, it points you to where the will of God is. This is the way. Hallelujah. Can we pray in a moment? Well, some of you, you need an earthquake quickly. You can ask him for, <laughs> for an earthquake. <laughs> for some of you, you need fire, an intervention of fire. You can ask him for fire. That the God that answers by fire might come into your space, might settle the situation by administering a flame. Oh my. He's a God of answers. He's a God of answers. The Spirit of God is God's answer. It's God's answer. It's God's answer. It's God's answer. Haven't evaluated the situation. You can recommend the kind of intervention that you are trusting God for. You can recommend the kind of intervention just in case an earthquake, something that has to do with foundations, genealogies, even before you were born, it was already twisted so that your life will be encumbered. You can ask for a tremor. You can ask for an earthquake so that the things concealed can be brought forth to light. The things hidden can be made manifest. Somebody call upon his name right now. Call upon his name. Call upon his name. Call upon his name. Call upon his name. Oh, oh, oh. He can decide to respond by kindling a fire. He can decide to respond by bringing a flame. Oh, Saido More. Shikabonda ala bruske sa sila neki. Eson de lebros. Jamalan to Korea. Escopa mila. Eskilo bronde. Eskababo sakadula. Amai can set a conde lekeria. Isko bramena. Isa sela iko babala. Rabala basonde. Rabala basakadola. Ibraskante kora baski do kobre ele. Don't move until you hear that voice. And you will hear 
a voice behind you say Coria bile se posando rascatada ba boca bambela diga bayatos en pore en so sana vinde en rapa do cosa tia rapambela sobre a rada do consame as que do na sica presto balando oria baba baba sica rasca balando oro cosi Ela misa, ela brandeli, e a la 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 do cosaba, e a la 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 la, a la 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 la, a la 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 la, e esta copa, sabanuda, e cabra só se baila, se brinda da babocô, macaia com coliba sante, racaço, raca babala, raca sebala, raca laca branca da bolha, escabo. Escapada, escas así, de la zona, a la mata, a la cada bagulia, de la cima la anda, allá la 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 la, pula la 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 la, de la 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 la, pula la 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 la, sala la la la, la capamba sala bona, escopa a veda yis, de la praisa sol, somebody needs to call down, the thunder, the thunder, the thunder. Eliasi kubama la laisa la tra ala babo se mante se mena kada babo lo kona ba rase kabona barata babo sa mela se bali kabamelo rapa balanas eska babo lo kona eska babanda babo ya eska babo na babo ya eska babo na babo ya rada kabasi kabane mo kona ba sa. Rakaba ba ba suka ba ba ya, esila ente, shamba no koria, ba ba siko, ba ba shanda ba gore, ba 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 kuda ba sa, esta ba bona, esi a kanda ba bona, esta tri, alato sama, alato kanda ba gore, esi a brala, esi a braka tala, ela bolsa me, ela kanda ba gore. Shama kata balakaya, elama mama bosala, akra kapa shata babori, ebre mama basaya, ebre mama bona, raka basopre, aleko sando, aleko kopre da basande, ala bosa manda la babori, sheme na kate, akresko tabanda babori, alisande, alisande, akayanto bona, sheme na kate, akresko bahanto. Abarato seto, brega baba baba. Yalo si kape, brega bosa, brega baba baba bosa to, brega baba bosa ya. Shemi na kape, brega baba bosa ya. Akabo se bre, la brega bosa kaka baba bosa. Ayabos, ayabos. Yela la 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 baba bosa ka. La 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 Yala la 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 bossa ya, preta bossa ya, ela bossa ya, preta da babora, a da ba da 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 da, e da ba da ba da da ba ba da ba da ba da ba da ba da. Yala la 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 bossa ya, preta ba da ba da 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 da, a da 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 bossa, e da ba da 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 da. Prada ila ose kande eska baba moto kota la ela prasa na prada baba da kanda raka basa na e prada baba da kasi a dia prosa bela prada baba da kanda raka basa na prada baba ne e kaba 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 ya prada kanda moa baba ha a kaba bora ya prada baba da basa na prada baba ne ya la 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 e kaba baba alright welcome Again, I appreciate you watching all this time. I'm sure you've learned a lot of things in this video. 
and uh, and just to know that everything we're talking about is supposed to be practical uh, apostle is just trying to explain to us that if you can take a place you can be in charge everybody that goes to the marketplace they go with something they go with the power they go with an altar they're servicing and therefore you should not go to your marketplace without carrying god without god being active in your life christians should not take their prayer life for levity they should not take their prayer life just ordinary he applies to all areas of your life god applies to all areas of your life when you are praying put in your business going to your office put in your business working with your clients working with your boss or anything put in god let god be involved let him be in charge of whatever you do so that you will not be caught by the end so that she will not be limited by the works of the wicked one so uh, it's just a, a review and i'm sure you also got one or two things feel free to share what you've learned and one thing i'll always say in this my video review is that please don't just listen for listening sake make sure you learn something to act on make sure you are doing something about the things you learn they are real and they are practical some people are complaining that why is that apostle keeps telling personal stories why don't he preach the bible it's because those are the things that makes him up those are the things that he fought and he found them real before a man becomes a champion he has gone through all forms of opposition and obstacles and those things are the ones that make him who he is today just like apostle paul puts in the scriptures and he tells us sometimes he goes through pain sometimes he goes through persecution so that you that you are reading the episode you will know the kind of life he has gone through and that when you are experiencing the same you know how to be free from it so that is just the same thing Apostle says, and it's not just saying yes to it, it's saying it for the edification of the body. So I'm sure you are blessed this is for your first channel, to be able to subscribe to this channel. Thank you.